Okay, guys, the next piece is going to be the contact form, which will create a simple contact form on your page for people to be able to contact you through your website. So when you go into here, you're going to have these options, display CAPTCHA, don't display CAPTCHA. Uh, I would go with don't display CAPTCHA, and then I would use a kismet to create a blank field so that you don't have to have a CAPTCHA on the form because CAPTCHAs can decrease uh, CTR and they can decrease people leaving comments because people find the CAPTCHA annoying versus helpful, even though it is helpful on your side for keeping the spam out. Uh, then when you go down here, you can put the email address where the message should go, so the emails to you, the title for the contact form, so whatever you want the title to be, the admin label which should just stay contact form so let's go ahead and do this quickly and what should we label it just hmm contact request we'll just label it that and then we will go ahead and save and then preview. And then you will see that it created a simple contact request where they can put their name, email address, message, and then they can submit it to you. So that's just a real quick way of making a contact form with the simple contact module that they have in the system. Okay guys, so the last and final thing that I'm going to show you is the MailChimp subscribe letter. In order to do this, you have to have the API in your template from MailChimp so that it can grab your lists. But once you do, you just click this button, put in your title, which I'm going to title subscribe to our newsletter button text sign up background color use background color yes select the list email newsletter this is where all of your list will show up from MailChimp once you have the API in text color text orientation and then I'm going to go ahead and put something in here as well. And this will show up next to the actual box that they fill out. Then I'm going to hit Save, Preview, go back to the front end. And there we have the subscribe to our newsletter. And we have the three boxes for them to sign up. We have this nice little image here of the little newsletter and our text, and that is the subscribe box. So now, so far, we have the slider, the images, the sliding effects, the blogs, the dropdowns, the shopping cart, the tables, testimonials, tabs, the text, the call to action button, the contact form, and the subscribe newsletter. So I think that about wraps it up. So that's all for the Divi Site Builder template.